Hey guys, I thought I would try to uh, pick a lock here for K1's uh, little giveaway he's doing. And I thought I would try to pick this Mako that Bearback sent me. Bearback, <laughs> Bear's back. Anyway, now let's give this a shot. It's a pretty fun little lock. Not a crazy bidding, but it's a fun little pick. I think this lock actually helped me uh, get better at Americans, too. All right, there's a bit from a one there. Let's move along here. Feels like a lot of serrateds in this lock. Okay, I think one is set now. Two. There's something in the back there. All right, another click out of two. A little bit more out of two and I think it's set now. Click out of three, another one out of three. Okay, I think three is set. That was four. Okay, another click out of four there. Sorry, I'll give you a better view. Hmm. All right, five. It's pretty stiff. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, I got two again. All right, three. Four is set. Dropping two, I think. I'm gonna try to pick off of this ledge here. Since most of the pins are pretty high up. Oh, sorry. Weird focus.
It's really hard to reach around this camera. Okay. Gonna have to like kind of hold the pick differently, I think. Finally got two set. That was a bugger. checking the core. You never know if it's open or not sometimes with these padlocks with that core tension. I think I let two drop again. Alright, got it set that time. It's going to stop letting my counter go so much. I did just pick this before I turned on the camera, but you guys know how that goes. I mean, it's not supposed to be an easy lock, but got it open pretty quick compared to some other ones I was trying to do. Anyway, let's try again. Let's try top of the keyway and see if that feels any different. I think this is working better. I'm just going to get a taller pick. These pins are pretty high, so as well give myself a little advantage I think I'm just paranoid about two now so I keep checking it all right that was one another good click out of it All set. There's got to be a spool left now. Unless it's just gonna. No, it's got to be a spool. Just gotta find it. Unless it's open. No. counter from two.
Okay. False set is back. Sorry. Bad angle again. Okay, it's still not open. Okay. There we go. That took about 10 minutes. Yeah, that was tough. I'm glad I went for this lock a little while ago. I'm surprised I got it the first time because this is actually pretty tough. Like for some reason, I'm not very good at these kind of locks. I should say like Americans and stuff anymore. I can't really pick them as well as I would like to. But like I said, it's good practice with this Mako. I could actually start feeling it pretty well there near the end. But uh, yeah, that was about 11 minutes or so, but we will take it. I might end up cutting it just to make it a little bit shorter for for sake of a shorter video so you guys don't have to watch me screwing around for 10 minutes. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and sticking in there if I don't end up shortening this. And yeah, congrats K1 on your 200 subscribers and 200 videos. And thanks for the opportunity to make another video. I was actually going to pick one of your locks. I actually have them sitting here. I've been having a lot of problems picking this lately, too. I've gotten this open like once or twice, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.